बनाना वॉलनट क्रम मफिन वेलकम टू संजीव कपूर खजाना माई नेम इज सोनका एंड आई एम योर विद यट अन अदर रेसिपी दैट गोन ब्राइटन अप योर क्रिसमस सो टुडे वी मेकिंग बनाना वॉलनट क्रम मफिन सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट ऑल द इंग्रीडियंट्स वी नीड टू मेक इट थ्री बनानाज विच वी मैश थ्री फोर्थ कप शुगर वन एग विच वी गोन टू लाइटली बीट वन थर्ड कप मेल्टेड बटर वन फोर्थ कप ब्राउन शुगर वन टी स्पून बेकिंग पाउडर एंड वन टी स्पून बेकिंग सोडा वी नीड हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट अ हैंड फुल ऑफ रफली चॉप वॉलनट्स वन टी स्पून ऑफ सिनमन पाउडर वन टेबल स्पून बटर एंड वन एंड हाफ टेबल स्पून रिफाइंड फ्लावर सो लेट स्टार्ट मेकिंग अ मफिनस फॉर द मफिन वॉट वील डू फर्स्ट इज दट वील मिक्स इन ऑल आर ड्राई इंग्रीडियंट्स टुगेदर सो गोट वन एंड हाफ कप ऑफ रिफाइंड फ्लावर और ऑल पर्पज फ्लावर टू दिस वील आर द बेकिंग पाउडर एंड द बेकिंग सोडा वी यूजिंग वन टी स्पून ऑफ ईच एंड वन टी स्पून ऑफ बेकिंग सोडा टू दिस वील ऑल्सो एड इन द सॉल्ट वी यूजिंग हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट Now let's just lightly mix all these ingredients together. So we're mixing all our dry ingredients in a bowl. We'll put this aside. I've got another bowl, and in this we're going to mix in our wet ingredients. So we'll take the mashed banana that we have. We're using three bananas here. So to the bananas, I'm going to add the caster sugar or the white sugar that we have. This is three fourth cup of white sugar we're using. We also need to add an egg to this, so I'm going to just lightly whisk the egg. Let's add in the egg to this. Now we'll pour in our melted butter into this. Finally, we'll add our chopped walnuts. So we got some very roughly coarsely chopped walnuts. They provide a great bite in each piece of the muffin. So to this, we're also going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, so that we get a nice cinnamon flavor throughout our muffins. Now let's mix all these ingredients together. So these muffins are really amazing for a festive time because you could make a batch of these and keep them ready in your kitchen. Because whenever there are any guests coming, we can always serve them. These are also very amazing to gift to people. Like you could make a bunch of them, wrap them up nicely, and gift it to your friends and relatives. Now let's pour in this mixture little by little and carefully fold it in. So we folded in all our ingredients together. We don't want to over mix this and because this is what our muffin mixture should look like. So we're going to make the crumb that goes over the muffin for that. I'm going to mix in a bowl the brown sugar. To this we'll add the refined flour. We're going to add 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And we'll just mix this together. What we'll do now is we're going to add one tablespoon of butter, and we're going to mix it so that it starts resembling something like a corn meal. This is what our crumb mixture should look like once we've finished combining all the ingredients. So our muffin batter is ready. The crumb which goes over it is ready. Let's quickly start putting our muffins together. I've already preheated our oven at 190 degrees Celsius. So I've got a muffin tray here. I'm going to line them with these paper cups so that I don't need to be worried about greasing the tray or the muffins not coming out or anything like that. What we'll do now is that we're going to spoon in our muffin mixture into each of these cups. We're going to fill them only up to three fourth because we've added baking powder and baking soda to it, so they are going to rise. So I've spooned in this amazing banana walnut mixture into these muffin trays. What we'll do now, since we're making a banana crumb muffin, we're going to add some of the crumb that we prepared over each muffin. What this does is that once you bake it, it make it creates this amazing cinnamon flavored sugar crust. So here they are, our amazing looking banana walnut muffins. We're going to put this into the oven, which we've preheated at 190 degrees Celsius. Let's place these on a baking tray and put them straight into the oven. So 
So now we've put our muffins into the oven. We're going to bake them at 190 degrees Celsius for 18 to 20 minutes or till you can see that once you insert a toothpick into the muffin, it should come out nice and clean. It's been 20 minutes since our muffins have been in the oven. Let's take a look whether they're ready or not. You can see that the crumb that we added on top has formed this amazing dark brown crust. Let's just remove our muffins from the muffin tray and place them on a platter. I think these are going to be the star attraction at my Christmas party. Make them, I'm sure they're going to be one at yours as well. So here they are, our banana walnut crumb muffins. Muffins that are soft and scrumptious on the inside but have a nice crunchy sugar crust on the outside. Make these for a Christmas party, I'm sure they're going to be a super hit. Merry Christmas!